You guys want to see something cool? Alright, so Anakin Skywalker, my second max ever. When he first dropped, I knew in the first couple hours of playing him that he'd be nerfed hard, but I didn't know how hard. <laughs> so I utilized the time I had with God Mode Anakin to the best of my advantage and max him out relatively quick by supremacy alone. And I have no doubt that if we had that Anakin now, maxing him out in supremacy would be a cakewalk for pretty much anyone. Unfortunately, he isn't what he was when I maxed him out, but does this mean that he's difficult now? Fuck no. As long as you follow the tips in this video and leave a like, you'll have a max Anakin basically no time. From my experience, he was the easiest saber hero to max out on the light side for a few key reasons. The main reason being his ability pool. Same as always, tell me in the comments who you guys want to max out the most right now, and the popular vote will be in the next video. I hope this video helps, and if it does, be sure to let me know. Anakin's pull dominance is in my opinion very close to being a Vader choke level of an ability, because it does so much in terms of large scale game modes, and for combos. And when paired up with the right cards, it just gets horrifying. Heroic Might is a bit tricky though. On occasion it can fail to function and cost you your life. But on the other hand, it's another amazing ability like pull dominance. In terms of star cards, we'll want to play into these abilities more with attraction, raw strength, and all of them. And I know that may be hard to hear for the ones who love massive strikes and steamroll. However, you can still attempt this. I just wouldn't recommend it if you're yearning for better XP per minute. If you want to go down this road, I'd say go with Tenacious as your third card. You'll on average be leaving combat encounters with less health, so this extra health is a huge plus. It also plays better into your retribution. When using this configuration, try to use your pull and heroic might in tandem with one another, because without the damage cards, they are weaker, so keep that in mind. The massive strike loadout isn't that inferior to the ability one. Uh, it's just from my experience being around troopers and Anakin for as many hours as I have been, attraction, raw strength, and all of them works best. For this guide, we'll be focusing in on two co-op maps for Anakin, those being Kamino and Felucia, specifically the cloning facility of Kamino. However, the ship version of Kamino does work for Anakin. Personally, it was unreliable, and its rotation into Naboo is not what we want here, as the cloning facility rotates right into Felucia. For the cloning facility, our objective is simple. You need to close out the match in the first phase because after the enemy makes it past the first phase, the XP per minute average diminishes greatly. Kamino is a contender with Felucia because in 4 minutes I was averaging 40,000 XP, which is very similar to Felucia if you apply good strategies. As long as you're running his ability-centric card setup, Anakin is more than over-equipped to deal with the first phase on this map. Uh, the droids mainly come out of two ways. This means that the numbers will always be pretty dense, however, it should be your goal to finish them as quick as possible. Because when the game recognizes that the droid numbers are fairly thin, they will respawn in the same group of 20 to 24. Before you start speedrunning though, you should take into account which droid spawn holds priority. If one spawn seems scarce, it's probably a good idea to bottle cap the other objective for a few minutes before making that switch gamble. What has generally worked for me though is handling the hallway at B first, because if you allow the droids to thrive and come out, it's harder to keep them under control and just a few abilities, resulting in less spawns. With objective A, the droids cluster themselves, so it's often very easy to take care of them with one heroic might or pull dominance. If you think the droid spawn priority is at A, you can hide behind this surface and wait for them to group up so that your pull dominance can one-shot them. Uh, with co-op AI, they rely on visuals, and when they can see you, they stop in their tracks and begin to shoot you. So if you prematurely reveal yourself, chances are you'll have a less efficient ability use. So in hiding yourself, you're telling the droids that it's okay to cluster at A, when in reality, it isn't. For the hallway at B, you always want to leave with your pull dominance. 90% of the time, this does not clear out all the enemies, and even if you do launch heroic might afterwards, this combo doesn't kill the reinforcements. But fortunately for us, elite reinforcements lead the charge. So lead with your pull. Make one basic attack while the rest are off balance, then heroic might. This usually does the trick, but in most cases, one pull dominance will prove more than sufficient. So it can be beneficial to save your heroic might for your immediate venture to A. A hero usually spawns within the last minute of the game, and if the objective they choose has a long way to go before capture, you can let them contest it if it means you're able to continue the carnage. Just make sure to end the hero if it seems like he's about to capture it. Consistent 40,000 XP per 4 minutes 
isn't the best a hero can do, but it's pretty damn good. And in terms of competition on Kamino, Anakin is the apex predator. So as long as you speedrun those four minutes, it becomes one of the best XP outlets for Anakin. Okay, let's talk about Felucia. It's a safe play to enter objective B through here and work your way from the inside out, using Pola and Might together. Objective 2 is far better than this one, so try to get the droids off as quick as possible. Their main spawn is here, but it's usually really dangerous. And you can see here that I relied on Heroic Might to save me, but the ability ended up not working. If it gets too hectic, join your teammates at their chosen objective. I've noticed that C is popular because of the amount of cover it provides and its isolation factor relative to spawn. After the objective 1 capture, make your way to this rock and cut to B through this route. Begin your push leading with pole and might. Make a retreat to the top of the structure, then plan your entry according to the remaining droids. Enemy heroes can spawn here as well, so unless you're being supported by your teammates, be smart in your approach. But once B is clear, wait for the next spawn at this platform, and wait for the team to fill before using your pull combo. After this, you'll have about 20 to 30 seconds to mess around with A before you're needed back at the platform. Every four minutes of high chaos, you'll get a retribution. So assuming you had Anakin on the first and second objective, you'll get one use of it here. So try and use it towards the end of capture, as you'll get at least one before the match ends. Just as with objective one, we want to complete objective three as quick as possible, because the real gem is on the last phase. Head to objective B. This is a whole lot safer than A, as there's ways to contest with a fair bit of cover. It's also a bit more close quarters and accessible as a saber hero. You get more XP from A, but without teammates to back you up, I believe the average player will have a difficult solo cap as Anakin there. Try to play objective 3 at B aggressively, bars, because having a retribution ready for phase 4 is pretty essential. It's pretty simple dealing with these guys here, most come at the top of this hill, and at the bottom it's easily manageable with your pull and might. Okay, so the last phase, Without the right strats here, it can be pretty difficult for some people, and this is all due to the tank guarding the objective. A direct approach with Anakin is suicide, so we have to take the back alley route to this plant right here. This is where the card's attraction and all of them are put on full display. Even though it seems like you're far away from the tanks far up here, you can be hit, and it only takes about 5 seconds for it to lock on and shoot you. So pull quickly, then get out of there. After this, make your way to the back. However, keep an eye on the tank's position. If it's still facing the entrance, go for either Heroic Might or Retribution. This should clear most of the infantry off the objective and give your teammates enough time to destroy the tank. Once it is down, things get a lot easier. Simply harvest from the collection of droids, but if you can, keep the heroes alive because they're lethal to your teammates. Yes, you want your teammates to do terrible here because it is to your benefit to play this last objective for as long as you can. If it seems like capture is inevitable, however, come to this spawn first and destroy these guys. The numbers should be thin on your way back, just be careful because the tank can spawn again and again. And that, you guys, is how you max out Anakin Skywalker in two days or less. Even though he's one of the more easy heroes to max out, he still is a grind, like all the other ones. Luckily, we get triple XP's pretty often these days, so use those to the best of your advantage. On Felucia, a good number is 60 to 70,000 XP after 10 minutes. If you play the last objective for a while though, that number skyrockets. Hope the info in this video benefited you. Apologizes for the long silence. Uh, took a short break from Battlefront 2, but it's good to be back home. More content on the way, so make sure you turn on that bell. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I really do.